to our webinar with Mel and Thomas, Living at the Speed of Light. You should be seeing a slide on the internet with Melon's picture. If you're not, click on the button in the upper left that says Slides, and you'll connect to the slide. Also, you want to synchronize slides with webcast audio, and not use the phone, but use your computer and the volume that's on your computer. And with that, I'd like to welcome Melon. Melon, we're delighted to have you present for Light Health Research. Mellon has been a researcher and an inventor in the field of biophotonics and cellular communication for over 25 years. He is a health technology and product consultant and a popular lecturer on the subject of anti-aging and phototherapy. Welcome, Mellon. Hi, David, and uh, thank you very much. Hi everyone out there. Um, today we're going to be talking about two of my most favorite subjects in the world, um, quantum biology and phototherapy. I'll begin with a brief history of uh, quantum biology and a, a kind of a help you get your mind wrapped around that. And then I'll do a brief history of phototherapy, which I think you'll find very entertaining. And then I will give you a brief review of some of the inventions and projects that I have uh, been involved in as designer and inventor. And then we'll be talking about one of my favorite inventions I've ever come up with to date, and that is the Dream Spa. So let's get started. You know, the human body, and in fact all bodies and all things, animate or inanimate, are made of atoms first and foremost. In the field of quantum biology, we think of your, your biology as atoms, and at the, at the atomic state, you are literally a nuclear being. You're made of atoms first and foremost before you're ever made of flesh and blood. And what's fascinating about that, and it can be sort of mystical if you want to be a philosopher, is that no two atoms touch each other. And so how does living things in your human body maintain its integrity and exchange energy and keep this nuclear state alive at a nuclear level, let alone a cellular level. Well, we've uh, there's been some great advances since the 1990s, and uh, here uh, you see on the screen is actual photographs of nuclear fields of atoms. And from the 1990s to the present, the, uh, the uh, technology has been getting, has been getting so uh, advanced that at the picture at the bottom, uh, with the color in it, you see actually uh, a lattice of gold atoms. So technology has come so far, especially since the 1990s, further than all the history of mankind put together. It's called, we're actually living in what's called the golden age of science and astronomy at this time. So if, if we're made of a nuclear state, and this is what we look like at the nuclear level, then how does the state absorb energy? How does it communicate with itself? How does it actually stay alive? Well, we are made of atoms and we emit energy. Anything that has atoms in it emit electromagnetic fields and emit energy at different wavelengths. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a Curlian photograph. This is someone's fingertip. And a Curlian uh, a camera is really just an electron camera. All it does is photograph electron emissions from anything that has an electron emission, which is everything that has atoms in it, by the way. But this happens to be a human finger. And you've seen night vision scopes. And have you ever thought that from the moment that you're conceived to several days after you die, you are a glowing light bulb 24-7? Your energy is being expended in several different wavelengths of energy and mostly in light. You glow in the dark, as you can see with a night vision scope. Here you see the curling of a leaf, and every living thing has electron emissions. Every living thing is alive that way at the nuclear level. It's a fascinating form of biology to think about. And the field of quantum biology is expanding so rapidly, uh, it's very easy to check up on it on the internet and become part of blogs, and there's all kinds of really heavy scientists involved in this now, and bloggers, and in fact a few uh, a few odd characters like the guy at the bottom there, me, I've done some, I did a lecture for the Learning Annex on quantum biology not too long ago. Um, so what I'd like to do now is share with you a brief history of phototherapy, which I think you'll find very interesting. 
uh, or energy medicine, I should say, uh, which involves uh, phototherapy. It seems as soon as the uh, electricity was discovered and controlled in the 1700s that people started trying to do medicine with energy. And in the early days, with the kind of uh, uh, equipment they had, it was very uh, crude equipment, uh, you, you could actually <laughs> get shocked to death with some of these energy treatments. So energy medicine in the 1700s could be quite shocking. Here's something interesting that many of you may not know. Uh, remember Dr. Kellogg? He uh, invented Kellogg corn flakes and all that, but if you uh, check his history, he was a, a giant of health and health consciousness in his day, and his influence is still felt with us in the modern world of the 21st century. Dr. Kellogg was also an inventor and an innovator, and uh, the white suit that you see him in is a very special clothes that he wore, which would let in full-spectrum light. Uh, he was very much into light and very much into all types of um, inventions that would help with health. What you see in the bottom uh, picture on the right is one of his shaker machines. And how many of you have seen those modern, very expensive shaker machines today where you stand on and they shake you? Well, that, that actually goes back to the uh, 1900s, actually. Um, and this is interesting. Um, Dr. Kellogg was very much into light and came up with uh, a number of light inventions. Uh, the one you're looking at is called the light bath. And uh, what, it, what it was is you were put on a bed and you were rolled into this cabinet that was full of these uh, bright lights. And uh, it was claimed to have regenerated people and healed many diseases. Now, what you might not know is that um, on the Titanic, there was a Dr. Kellogg health spa, and included in that was one of his light bath uh, machines was on the Titanic, which now sits at the bottom of the ocean. The Kellogg Museum is quite an interesting place to go to. As you can see in the photograph at the right, they have a complete working model of uh, one of his light baths and other, other uh, inventions. This, again, is uh, from the uh, Dr. Kellogg Museum. And you can see his white suit, which he uh, believed let more light energy into his body, and some other light inventions, including uh, the one in the background is a sit-down light bath, which you would sit in and everything but your head would be, would be uh, in, 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 enveloped in, in his special lights. Uh, the photograph at the, at, at the right uh, corner is, again, uh, one of his electric devices where you sat in this chair and you held on to the grips and it shook you and gave you a charge. Uh, very interesting. Uh, these type of uh, concepts are still around today, actually. Um, and then Hollywood got into it. It seems like as long as there's been an idea of electricity, people have thought electricity uh, has created life. And in fact, in modern science today, in evolution, uh, it's thought that electricity had a tremendous amount to do with the first living cells on Earth. But Hollywood had its own style of creating life. Another thing that you might find fascinating is that Mark Twain and Nikola Tesla were dear friends for many, many years. And Mark Twain loved to hang out with Nikola Tesla, and he credits uh, one of Tesla's energy devices, which he would hold on to and give him electrical charge, as why he was so healthy so long in his life, because he never exercised and he smoked cigars and all of that. But uh, this is a fascinating story, the story of Mark Twain and Nikola Tesla's relationship. In fact, in the upper, upper photograph, where uh, uh, Mark Twain is holding a light bulb uh, of Tesla, as you can see Tesla in the background, actually, watching them. Uh, there have been many, many developments in the, in the field of uh, phototherapy and energy medicine. And this is uh, one of the early devices called, uh, called a plasma tube device. And these are still around today, actually. Basically, what a plasma tube device is, is was early form of neon lighting. And in these glass tubes, as you see on the top of this device, they would put the special gases in that would glow at specific wavelengths of light. Um, in those days, everyone thought ultraviolet light was the master light of all. And so there were many uh, violet ray um, plasma tube devices invented, and they're still around today. In fact, uh, uh, Edgar Cayce invented his own that was quite popular and uh, still available, actually. And this is just an example of a plasma tube device that is still available today. You can buy this on the internet today. And it, it claims all the things they were claiming back in the uh, 1800s and in the 1900s. Well, one of the first great modern um, uh, uh, visionaries and, and uh, inventors
pioneers in the, in the true science of phototherapy was a man named Darius Denshaw. Although he was born and raised in India and fought World War I and all that, he and his family moved to New Jersey, and his family is still in New Jersey um, to this day. Uh, Denshaw invented the spectrochrome, which was really in history the first serious, scientific, very well-made uh, light device. He spent a lot of time and energy developing these glass slides that would fit into this device, which had a uh, carbon art light inside of it, a very bright form of light. Um, and they would shine these lights on you, and he was accredited with many healings. He was quite a pioneer in the field of healing with light. Um, and uh, the way they would treat you in those days, for the most part, is they would shine the light into your eyes because uh, people believed, and the belief is still around today, that uh, the eyes are, are connected directly to the autotomic nervous system, autotomic muscle system, and this is the way many light devices up till the recent discoveries in the 1990s um, were developed. I'll give you an example of that. These are some of the devices that were uh, the, uh, the offspring of Gary Stenshaw devices. You see the photon wave device up in the upper uh, left-hand corner sold in the 70s and basically you sat in front of it and you had these glass uh, filters that would uh, shine specific wavelengths of light into your eyes. In the upper right hand corner is a modern device that's available today for the same purpose. Same thing with the Swiss device um, in the lower corner and in, in the lower right hand corner you can see a, a, a device you can buy today. It's a visor with these little lights in it that shine directly into your eyes. So. Uh, this, this idea is still around to, to this day. Now, since the, uh, since, uh, the late 90s, I mean the, the late 80s and the early 90s, phototherapy has really taken off and has, has, uh, has uh, expanded in the uh, U.S. very well. Phototherapy itself began, as we know it, scientific modern phototherapy began around 60 years ago in Europe with veterinarians and quickly expanded to humans over there. It did take a bit longer for it to be accepted in the United States. These are some current modern devices um, in, for use in, in hospitals and clinics and med spas. And you can see um, how serious they look. <laughs> um, also, um, uh, these are modern devices. These are current devices on the market. Uh, the one in the, in the right hand is a device made by a company in Palo Alto, California, made for uh, specifically for treating babies in India. Tremendous problem with jaundice babies in India. In fact, if you look closely at the slide, you'll see the mother sleeping right next to the babies being uh, radiated with this blue light. And if, by the way, I'll be talking about it later, it's the same blue light that's in the dream spa. In the upper left-hand um, uh, picture, you see a baby with a, uh, a very current uh, device of blue light being put on a jaundice baby to help the baby get over jaundice. And in the old days, they used to take the babies out um, into the sunlight uh, for a certain period of day until the jaundice went away. And then after that, uh, Billy Rubin uh, light cam uh, uh, cabinets were invented, which were bright light devices that got rid of the Billy Rubin, because Billy Rubin is the problem with jaundice babies. So these devices are very current. They're, they're being used right now in hospitals and clinics and in countries where they have problems with uh, this type of uh, infant condition. Um, this is a current device that's out on the market. It's supposed to melt the fat off of you with light. I, I've seen the device personally, and I think it's a very sexy, very, very cool-looking uh, system. I have my doubts, though, scientifically, that it's really going to burn the fat off of you, but it is being used in med spas, but uh, certainly it's a very attractive piece of equipment. Um, here's uh, some devices that are out on the market today. Since uh, phototherapy has been so popular for the last six, seven years, there have been a lot of uh, cheap little handheld devices put out there. And these are basically toys, phototherapy toys. And as you see in the uh, left photo, this is a little helmet you wear that's supposed to uh, regenerate your hair, and, and it certainly has a scientific basis to it. It runs for about $700 out there on the marketplace. But you put it on your head and listen to some music, and hopefully it'll uh, stop hair fallout, which uh, research has shown these type of things will work for that. But we'll show you what we've done with the Dream Spa later. This is, uh, may look like a funny device to you, uh, but it is actually a very serious device uh, out on the market currently. It's battery operated and it has two probes that you stick up your nose. 
and this is for uh, people that really suffer from uh, sinus headaches and allergies that uh, medications don't seem to help. I remember in the early days of my research back in the uh, mid-80s, um, before any of this was invented, uh, some of the uh, researchers I met along the way, I kept noticing that some of them would, would take one of those laser pointers, you know, the laser pointers for uh, slideshows, and they would literally uh, stick them up their nose for a few minutes, and I asked why, and I was told, well, it's the same wavelength in a little handheld laser pointer that's in the $1,500, $2,000 medical laser. And so finally someone has come out with a product uh, so you can stick light up your nose. And it is quite effective, actually. Now we'll talk about one of the great modern 20th century um, uh, pioneers of uh, light. Dr. John Ott. Uh, John Ott is a legend in the field. His pioneering work uh, really turned uh, the world around in the, in the 1960s and 70s. He was a lighting engineer for a very large uh, company. We're talking one of the major corporations of America that make lights. And he uh, did some research in laboratories with lab animals using fluorescent lighting and incandescent lighting that uh, was very, that is still very popular. And he found that uh, using um, fluorescent lights and incandescent lighting was actually cutting the lifespan of the lab animals in half and impacting the immune system. And so he felt this must have the same effect on human beings. And so he reported this to the board of directors at this huge corporation, and they promptly fired him and blacklisted him. Uh, but lucky for us and lucky for him, he came from a very, very wealthy Chicago family. So Dr. Ott was able to continue on his work without anybody getting in his way the rest of his life. I was lucky enough to have met Dr. Ott uh, late in his life, and he's one of my heroes. One of the things that you, you might not know about Dr. Ott is that he is the inventor of what we call full-spectrum lighting, lighting that's healthy for you. Um, as you see in the photograph behind his, his uh, portrait photo, he invented time-lapse photography to study light. Many of you may know what time-lapse photography is. That's when you uh, slow down a motion picture camera to uh, record uh, hours of time and watch it in minutes. And he invented um, this type of photography um, among other many inventions uh, to study light itself. And he had a fantastic lab that he'd set up to study light. And uh, there is a film he did make. He made one film in his life about his work, and it is available on the Internet. The other thing you might not know about Dr. Ott is he was a friend of Walt Disney. And he actually won an Academy Award for a short film with Walt Disney. Uh, and if you're as old as I am, you may have actually seen this in theaters. It was shown in theaters. And it was when uh, it was a film in which uh, plants were blooming and, and dancing uh, to classical music. It was quite, quite, uh, quite a sensation in its day. And he did get the Academy Award for that. So we have a lot to thank Dr. Ott for getting everybody in the right direction. One of the, one of the next uh, main people in, um, uh, in the uh, field of phototherapy uh, is Fritz Popp, who discovered and one of the great discoverers of what we call biophotons today. And biophotons are, are what is get, we're getting back to quantum biology now, because if we're made of atoms, how do all of these atoms communicate? How do cells communicate? How do molecules communicate? And Fritz Popp was one of the first, uh, among others, to really pioneer in this field and come up with devices that could literally measure biophotons. Now, what are biophotons? Because nowadays, as you see this magazine cover, nowadays it's a multi-billion dollar industry in the world. Uh, biophotonics covers everything from the measurement of anything with light and special uh, uh, measuring devices all the way to medical lasers and procedures all the way to what we call phototherapy today. Um, and what are biophotons? Well, biophotons are the light emissions of living organisms, uh, which is a part of any electromagnetic radiation that organic cells emit. All living cells, plants, animals, and human beings emit biophotons, which cannot be seen by your naked eye, but can be measured by special instruments. The light emission is an expression, the biophotonic light emission is an expression of the functional state 
of the living organism. That means its health, its well-being. And the measurement of the biophotonics of these living organisms can be, can be used to assess the state of sick or healthy health uh, cells by the same type, uh, by the differences in the way the biophotonic emissions look. In other words, sick cells emit, emit a different color light, a different wavelength of biophotons than healthy cells. Isn't that interesting? Um, now, biophoton bio light is stored in the cells of every organism, more precisely, in the DNA molecules of their nuclei. Imagine that. We're back to quantum biology, aren't we? And uh, the, when this light is stored in the molecules of, of DNA in their nuclei, it creates a, a dynamic web of light constantly released and absorbed by the DNA, which connects all cell organisms, cells, tissues, organisms within the body, and serve as the organism's main communication network and as the principal regulating agent of all life processes on Earth. Isn't that amazing? What a, what a great discovery. The next great researcher that came into the field, which is a, a, one of my heroes to this day, is Dr. Harry Whelan, who uh, has done a lot of work at Milwaukee, Milwaukee Children's Hospital. You can look him up on the internet very easily and look at his videos. He also has worked, uh, done a lot of work with DARPA, which is the Defense, Age, uh, Defense Research Agency, and with NASA Space Program. Um, and it was, uh, it was Dr. Whelan's work with uh, DARPA and NASA that really brought, brought in the, the final piece of credibility for phototherapy, really nailing it and proving it's for real, more real than most people imagine. Now, what's interesting is why does NASA get involved in phototherapy? Well, it's been known that the longer you stay in space, the more your body chemistry changes. In fact, uh, astronauts lose, lose tremendous amount of bone mass in space the longer they stay. So if you're in outer space, your body starts to adapt rapidly. In outer space, you don't need legs, you don't need hardly any bones at all. And uh, the longer you stay in space, the more your body tries to adapt to that. So it's that when the astronauts come back from these extended stays in outer space, they have to be carried. Uh, they're not allowed to walk. They have to be rehabilitated. And they have to literally be carried off the field where they come back, where they land. Um, and so uh, this brings in the question of, how, when we want to explore Mars and things like that, if we don't come up with artificial gravity, it would probably be uh, completely debilitating to the astronauts by the time they got back uh, to the Earth. Uh, but this is an important part of phototherapy, and they're using it in the space station because, you know, in outer space, you, there's not a lot of healing goes on, cuts and bruises, the, but phototherapy drives the biology into repairing itself. Fascinating, isn't it? You can check this out on uh, NASA websites. Now, I'd like to give you a brief review of just some of the projects I've been involved in um, in, in the phototherapy energy uh, arena. I've been a uh, quite an eclectic inventor for, um, uh, since the 80s, and I've invented uh, just everything from tools to shoes to furniture to uh, toys, and my, uh, my favorite inventions, of course, have been anything that helps with anti-aging, healing, and the quality of life. So I'm going to show you a few of those. Um, this is a project I worked on in the early 90s, and I brought in, so I, I got the project funded, I concepted the project based on all the theories out there about can you communicate with DNA, and, you know, didn't we, didn't we just uh, talk about uh, Dr. Pop's uh, experiments with DNA and communication. So uh, this project uh, was put together. It was very exciting. I had Cleve Baxter, an old friend of mine, the man who discovered plants have feelings. I've had him in most of my projects. Glenn Rhine, a uh, famous uh, quantum biologist, was part of the project. Uh, some people uh, formerly of uh, Hughes Corporation and, uh, and some people from HeartMath Institute, as some of you know about HeartMath. Um, basically what you're looking at, I took all these pictures because I kind of knew what was going to happen. I really kind of understood that uh, this experiment would be successful. So you're looking at the lower uh, right-hand corner is a sensor that uh, we made out of human DNA because human DNA is literally uh, a liquid crystal and then when it's dehydrated, it's, uh, it can be reconstituted in a saline solution. Uh, this sensor um, 
was then uh, hooked up to very sensitive devices, and as you see in the top photo in the uh, center, this was the first blip ever in our experiment of being able to control DNA. And I was uh, waiting for the scientists to discover it, so in the lower center picture you see the scientists jumping for joy that we had made this discovery. It was quite, quite, a, quite an exciting time, very heavy. Um, one, of, one of the men that have had the uh, most influence on me, though, in all of my career is uh, Stephen Jock at the University of Oregon Medical School. I have studied with Stephen for many years. I take courses with him as often as I can. And he is uh, considered, if not the top, one of the top tissue optics experts in the world. And the field of tissue optics is a, rel is a relatively new field. It's about as new as uh, phototherapy itself. Tissue optics is looking at how light and sound affect all the tissues of the human body. And, uh, and most people might not realize or think about it, but sound is a form of the electromagnetic spectrum and a form of light. That's why sonograms, and there's many ways to image things with uh, sound. It's called acoustic optics. Uh, tissue optics uh, includes both sound and light. And um, uh, in, to me, studying with Stephen Jacques and tissue optics brought to me what I call uh, the moment of the Rosetta Stone for me. Um, I consider this my Rosetta Stone time. And understanding tissue optics at this deep fundamental level allowed me to, to design and create quite effective phototherapy systems ever since. Early on, and this is in the, um, 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 I would say, early 90s here, um, I was working uh, and had, had some experience with uh, Bill Till of Stanford uh, University, you know, the great scalar, scalar uh, scientist in his day. This is when he was still at Stanford. And I learned a lot from Bill Tiller about scalar fields and scalar waves, and I found that some of it was actually uh, could be applied to uh, phototherapy delivery systems. And so uh, I did learn a lot from uh, Dr. Tiller and his son, Jeff, who I found to be brilliant. Um, this was the first man to give me my first uh, real uh, job in, in research in, in phototherapy back in the uh, early, uh, in the late 80s. And uh, Bud Rieke had a uh, uh, alternative research uh, center in uh, Canada, and he was also associated with the World Health Organization. And for me, uh, go going from invention into trying to put clinicals together to prove your inventions are for real was quite a large step, bigger than most people imagine. But he taught me and the people at World Health taught me that first thing you have to do in clinical work is study studies and test tests because you can spend millions of dollars on testing but that actually in the end will mean nothing or can be pulled apart like a house of cards. So study a study and test a test. Uh, these are some of the examples of inventions uh, in the phototherapy field that I have um, been a part of recently. Uh, I can't put everything on the, uh, on the screen today, but I'm quite prolific and love inventing all types of phototherapy devices and attachments. This was uh, one of my early devices in the early days when um, uh, we, I, I was one of the first to concept and build uh, flexible pads with LED arrays on them going back to the mid-80s, actually. <clears throat> and this was one of the early systems. It was quite, attra it was gonna, quite attractive, the light splashed and all of that sort of thing. But um, this is some uh, work I did uh, with another company in which I developed appliances and control systems uh, ostensibly for post-surgical facial and dental um, work. And here we see uh, some of the dental work. I've, I've invented appliances that go inside your mouth. And uh, one of the reasons I'm very, very uh, into dental is that historically, uh, dental has been the number one problem of human and animals health-wise. So any, any uh, investment, your first investment should be in your dental and your teeth. And it will, uh, it will keep you healthy longer than you imagine, and it will make you sicker faster than you can imagine, especially after the age of 50. Here's a device I developed for yet another corporation I'm very proud of. Uh, it was a high-end spa device, uh, very well accepted in all around the United States. And I designed, concepted, and uh, developed the technology for this system, which I'm very, very proud of. And here is Mellon's Playground. This is where I like to play. I like to hang out at the factories. I like to hang out with the engineers. And uh, that's where I get a lot of joy. This is a device 
I, I invented for yet another corporation in early uh, 2000. And this was a, a, a full body device that uh, was used in, in research that came out very well. And uh, we were experimenting in different types of full body devices. And I had hopes and still have hopes that this type of systems will be used in oncological support and post-surgical of, uh, of uh, patients. Here are some concepts for the future. These are uh, systems I'd uh, like to put out in the future. These are some uh, concepts in full body devices. And here are some concepts for different types of full body devices and arrangements. And here's uh, uh, the next full body device I'd like to get out uh, in the next few years. I call it the Starlight Cocoon, and uh, basically it's like having your own little uh, private uh, spaceship to travel the universe in. Now I'd like to introduce my, as I said before, my most favorite invention to this date, the Dream Spa. The Dream Spa represents everything that I have learned and, uh, and all my experience in phototherapy to this date. Uh, I've always wanted to come out with a personal use unit that people could use at home as much as they like, whenever they like, and with professional qualities and professional uh, effectiveness. The, um, you know, it's great to have all of these spa devices. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. But for regular folks like you and me, how often can we afford to go to a spa when the best use of phototherapy is daily or a couple of times a day or more? Um, and so I've always wanted to get out a, uh, a, a personal use system that you could use at home and, and take with you. And so I'm very, very happy. And I'll, I'll, I want to uh, show you what it's all about now. So why is the Dream Boss, Dream Spa so important to the quality of your life? Well, there, there are several things that are very important. And the Dream Spa was designed for four main things. Um, most uh, most phototherapy equipment out there in the world today uh, deal with pain alleviation or cosmetics. Now that's all fine and good, but there there are some other things that are just and maybe even more important than that. Number one is stress, stress, stress. We are all stressed out. We're working more than our parents did. We're burning the candle at both ends, and we're put, and technology has not actually helped us with that, has it? Computers have stolen our lives, and now uh, they come up with new devices every day that keep us, uh, keep us uh, uh, engaged in the technological uh, melee out there, actually. Now, did you know, um, and why I have this picture up, did you know that there have been some very good studies that show that uh, just driving to work every day, and millions of people do this every day in one way or another, you know, driving to work, dropping off the kids at school, doing this and that, just driving to work is stressful enough to raise the cortisol level in your body to a high, high and significant uh, effect. And the, the cortisol in this world is the stress hormone. It's what happens when you're stressed out, and all of us are carrying way too much cortisol in our body, and it affects our brain, it affects our cognitive abilities, it affects our health. and and it affects, uh, it's, it's why so many people can't lose weight. You can't lose weight when you've got high cortisol. And so, um, now imagine this, that you drive to work and you've seriously impacted your immune system uh, by just driving to work, and then that takes hours and hours for it to settle down again. That's if you're not eating candy and drinking coffee and all that at work. And then about the time it calms down, uh, four, four to five to six is when you should be having a siesta. And I, I consider civilized countries are countries that have siesta periods. And I almost called the, this device the siesta machine. So imagine uh, your cortisol is coming down, you're, you're now ready to go home and face this traffic all the way back home again. And by the time you get home, typically, your stress levels are going to be high enough to keep you awake most of the night. And then you start the whole process over the next day. So what can we do about stress? Well, there's a lot we can do about stress, and this is one of the first reasons I designed the Dream Spa. Secondly, there's an epidemic of sleeplessness. We aren't sleeping anymore for some of the very reasons I've just explained to you, and that technology keeps us awake, keeps us in beta brain waves, and I'll explain that in a minute. So uh, we're living in a time now when, people, when so many people have experimented with sleeping pills that they know they really don't work and they leave you even worse off in the morning that people are looking for a non-invasive uh, way without drugs to have sleep again. And this is the second reason that I wanted to uh, incorporate all of this into the Dream Spa. 
How many of us have had these kind of days where stress and fatigue really affects us? Uh, enlightened companies nowadays have sleep periods, sleep naps, and, and they, give, they give people nap passes. And so some of the enlightened corporations, they have recognized this. And if you let people rest and you let them have restful naps, then they're going to be much more productive, much more healthy, and, and, and not have so many sick days. Um, and so we see the advent of that uh, around the country. Um, so what we wanted to do with the Dream Spa is give you a device that would give you these restful naps at deep brainwave levels anytime you needed them. Also, we wanted to put in a program that would provide a profound stress relief for you and energy renewal. Very, very important. So stress, uh, energy, sleep, and then cosmetics. Now the Dream Spa solution, Dream Spa is the first really all-in-one photon energy system that combines uh, photo rejuvenation, energy recharging to your body, and it prov provides uh, profound stress relief. And we also have incorporated in three of the main programs something that I pioneered called brainwave entrancement. Uh, the field of brainwave entrainment is, is decades and decades old with tons of research in, in it, and there are many kinds of brainwave uh, devices out there. Well, we incorporated this into the Dream Spa. But I also did another thing with it. Not only is it brainwave entrainment, it's, we also put in a trance program and mix them. So I call it brainwave entrancement. We want to entrench your brain to rest. And, and so I'll explain how these brain waves work, because this is one of the most important things to think about besides just shining light on people and all the effects that light can give you, that we can do something even better with all of this. Did you know that when your eyes are open, you're in beta brain waves, and that beta brain waves are these stress brain waves. Whenever your eyes are open, you're talking, you're learning, you're reading, you're taking care of, uh, taking care of the house, you're caretaking. You are in beta brain waves, and we have become now what I call beta toys. We are literally spending too much time in beta brain waves. Uh, I think this is what's caused the, 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 the epidemic and tsunami of cortisol in the world and, and literally affected brain function and the immune systems of so many millions of people. Um, and students alike are just under as much stress as anyone else. Home, home, homemakers, caretakers, businessmen, airline pilots, doctors, where we just spend too much time in beta brain waves. There's not enough me time anymore. Have you noticed that? And you really do deserve to have me time, time that's just for you to regenerate your mind, body, and spirit. We have five innovative uh, uh, programs in the Dream Spa. And uh, the top three programs, which I'll show you in a minute, do have the brainwave and transmit in them, which I consider one of the most important developments in the field of uh, combining phototherapy and brainwave. Now, I'll explain how this works. So, normally you spend too much time in beta brainwaves, and what we want to do with the Dream Spa is give you a 30-minute cycle that will give you the most restful nap, uh, regenerate your mind, body, and spirit. Let your brain rest and heal itself. So here's how it works. So normally you spend too much time in beta stress brain waves where there's no rest for the brain, which is uh, generally agreed upon to be 15 to 40 cycles per second of brain wave activity. What we want to do is the dream spa is divided into three sections, three sections of brain waves with every phototherapy system you're getting. And so in the first 10 minutes of each of these auto programs, because they turn themselves off and they're finished, there's no overdosing or no chance of that. So we want to take your brain waves down from 15 to 40 cycles to 10 alpha, which is where meditators like to go. We want to entrance your brain to, into deep relaxation and an overall sense of calming. It begins at 10 cycles uh, alpha. Then in the second 10 minutes of the session, we want to entrance your brain into eight, eight, eight cycles theta, which is the, the beginning of really deep and profound stress relief uh, and mental clarity is enhanced. And your brain begins to deeply rest. Because you've got to think about it. Your brain's always working. You, you've got to give your brain a rest, not only your body, but you've got to give your brain a rest also. And so the third 10 minutes of, of 
the 30 minute cycle is what we call magic land in, in brainwave entrainment. And that's five cycles of data. This is magic land. Uh, in the final 10 minutes, we entrance your brain waves into five data. And at this frequency, research has shown that the brain will significantly refresh itself, reducing brain fog and retraining the brain to sleep better at night. You now, at five, at five cycles theta, research has shown that your brain will physiologically start rebooting itself, start healing itself, because your brain needs healing too. Isn't that amazing? All, it's some great research on this, and we, we include this in the Dream Spa program. Next, uh, we want to talk about energy, because not only are we stressed out, not only are we tired from not sleeping, but also all of this helps us run out of energy. And it's almost like, you know, the, the human body is the most fantastic electric car ever made, but if the battery is a charge, you're going to be pushing that car and you're going to be stressed out. So think about that. You can have the best equipment in the world, but if the battery isn't charged, it doesn't work very well, does it? And what's interesting about phototherapy is, and it's been known even since ancient times, but uh, very scientifically in modern times, is that light creates energy. And in fact, uh, it was Albert Einstein who got the Nobel Prize for discovering the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect has changed the world. It's the reason we have solar panels today. It's uh, affected so many facets of our life thanks to this discovery by Einstein. But in this, he also discovered that just as plants convert sunlight to energy, so do all living things in one way or another. So do human beings. We convert sunlight into energy, or technically we convert light into energy. But you've got to think about this for a second. Normal sunlight to a human being is really rude and crude energy. Most, most of it is absolutely harmful to your body, and it's, uh, thank God a lot of it's filtered out by our atmosphere. But in modern science, uh, it's been discovered that there are really four main bioactive wavelengths in sunlight. So imagine that... Um, We've been able to take just the wavelengths of light that are beneficially bioactive to you and put them into a device that you can use any time you want. Um, the, way, the way it works in humans is that um, you take an energy in your body, light, water, and we live literally on ATP, aden adenosine triphosphate which is the energy molecule that stores energy in every cell of your body. It's like having a battery inside your body. And every cell of your body has a mitochondrion, which literally, to an engineer, when you look at the electron microscope view of it, it looks like a, uh, a battery capacitor. It looks like a capacitor. It stores energy. The mitochondrion is in every cell of your body and is the energy, the battery of every cell in your body. Your cell can't operate. Uh, properly, if this energy level is low in the battery, it's like a flashlight that's the batteries are going a week and having to shake it to make you know we get a little bit of light going. Um, so, uh, so your body very well knows how to convert energy to ATP, energy molecules, basically uh, protons, electrons, and uh, uh, these are carried in and stored in these little batteries in every cell. Well, uh, thanks to Einstein, this is well understood now, and this is why. Phototherapy provides energy to the human body. It is the energy solution to the human body. Here's an interesting uh, picture with uh, Curlian uh, photography, which, again, I'll say Curlian is uh, an electron camera, and we use it as sort of a battery tester. But you can, te you can check the, electron, uh, the electrical content of your body in many, many ways, including blood, saliva, and urine. It can all, it's called the zeta, the zeta uh, effect. You can uh, really... Uh, measure the electrical potential of your body. When the electrical potential is low, you don't have a lot of energy for healing or cognitive functioning, and, you're, and you get really moody. Have you kind of noticed that? So in the um, upper photograph, we have a normal person. This is not even a sick person. This is a normal person, and this is like checking their battery. This is their three fingertips on a, on a curly uh, plate. And you can see the, uh, there's gaps in the electron emission. It's very, very spiky, which means they're very low in energy. And 30 minutes later, after being in the dream spa and having light uh, transmitted to you, your uh, body shows that literally that your body has taken uh, the light and turned it into electrical energy in your body. And when you, have a, uh, when you have a surplus of electrical energy in your body, you heal well, you regenerate, and you really go into what's called true anti
anti-aging. In other words, it's possible to keep you regenerating faster than you're degenerating now in the modern world. I'd like to run through um, the basic programs of the uh, Dream Spa. Our first program is called Renew. It, uh, it has an interesting uh, and unique mixture of both near-infrared light and red light. So, um, you know, if you see it closely, it looks like some of the lights, about half of them are out. But that's because near-infrared is not visible to the human eye. Near-infrared is probably the most important wavelength in phototherapy. It's the deepest penetrating and the most healing. And secondly would be red. That's why we mix these two in an in a interesting way for you. And so this setting would be the high energy setting, the high regeneration setting, the super healing setting. And uh, if you're low in energy, you would probably want to use this setting. We, we have uh, a couple of examples here. This is uh, photographs I did about six years ago with a study that I did personally. And this was using red and near-infrared light. And you could see, uh, even in the 70-year-old uh, women, we were getting some very good collagen production. Also, in the same, uh, the same study that I did, uh, you can see that collagen production has improved greatly in just two sessions. Um, and so you can see, like, the ladies almost had, like, an eye lift. What's fascinating, and, and I'll get into the root column in a second, what's fascinating is that everyone tends to regenerate in their own unique way. Some people regenerate so fast, it's, it's amazing. And we have them look in the mirror first at their face because there could be a big change right after the first session. Some people, it may take 10 or more sessions to really start getting the effect. But this is a... Um, uh, this system is a maintenance system. There's nothing ever going to fix you up in one shot forever. You need maintenance. You need to have your battery recharged uh, daily, literally. So our second program is what we call Blue Calm. And blue, uh, this blue wavelength, uh, is the most studied wavelength in phototherapy clinicals around the planet right now. And uh, it's been known for uh, several decades in uh, Europe as being very beneficial and now is accepted worldwide and is the wavelength of choice for depression, for resetting your biological clock, for jet lag, uh, for uh, Billy Rubin babies, uh, for uh, hangovers, for those of you that party, it's very good for that. And also it's been adapted by estheticians as, as the favorite wavelength. It's very good for skin, uh, oily skin, bacterial skin, rosacea, and also uh, very, very dark-skinned people uh, tend to get photofacials with blue uh, because their pigmentation really doesn't uh, have the same effect with red light for facials as it does with blue light. And typically, dark-skinned people have more of an issue with oily, bacterial skin. So this is perfect. Uh, the system is perfect in address anybody of any skin color. Uh, blue wave is really the wavelength that's going to lift your mood, give you a centered feeling and clarity, and also it has the brainwave entrancement program layered in with it also. Third program, main program, again, this has brainwave entrainment and entrancement in it also. We call it body relief. This is an interesting mix of near-infrared light, blue light, and red light, and we only use the three most tested, most tried and true wavelengths of phototherapy history. Uh, no one can patent these wavelengths because nature invented them. If someone tells you they patented a new wavelength of light, well, I don't think so. Uh, but really, uh, it's all about delivery systems and, and how to mix this in an effective way. Body relief is very good for people that um, uh, over-exercise or golfers or uh, play tennis a lot, for baby boomers that are getting very active. Um, and a body relief is great for systemic pains like the, you know, arthritis and things like that. Um, it's the baby boomers that are really um, um, making all the money for the sports medicine clinics all around the country. Baby boomers have more sports injuries than all the major proteins put together. You know, golfing, tennis, and bike riding, and all that stuff that uh, has, a, has an impact when you overdo it for the uh, aging population. The fourth program, um, and the fourth and fifth program, by the way, do not have the brain uh, wave and transplant because it isn't needed in this, these particular programs, but we've included hair and scalp, and the canopy actually goes to a different position to shine just on your head and scalp. And this is based on great research in the U.S. and in um, uh, Europe where uh, it's been shown that these wavelengths, first and foremost, uh, will stop hair fallout, and women are about 80% of the main market 
market and, and hair, uh, hair, um, hair trouble. Uh, women lose hair all over the place, but the good news is that women can grow hair back. Men, on the other hand, they really want to stop hair fallout and keep what they have. But more than that, and we have some links to this on the uh, Light Health Research website, is that more than that, these very wavelengths are being used uh, in studies in Europe and in America uh, because this is a, this is shining uh, very special wavelengths on your on the meridians in your head, which are considered some of the most important meridians. And there has been great research on uh, how this prevents certain conditions from developing and really does turn around certain conditions, which you can look up uh, on the website and on the internet. A, typically, a hair unit, and you saw one at the beginning of this uh, presentation, that was just for hair fallout. That's about $700. The, uh, the, the uh, systems they're using clinically in Europe can run thirty to $60,000 easily. I've seen a $100,000 hair unit. And they're using exactly the same wavelengths, and we've incorporated this into the Dream Spa. The fifth program uh, we put in there because it was uh, highly requested in, in the research that I did, and that is uh, hair, nails, hand spots. Uh, phototherapy actually is very good for the hands and, and increases nail growth, and is very good for age spots. There are uh, phototherapy systems out there you can buy right now just for your hands, and those can run $500 on up. And we include this particular program in the uh, Dream Spa for you. Um, I, so I'm very, very proud of how the Dream Spa has turned out. Uh, it's, it's, a mold, it, it's like it replaces seven different types of prototherapy into one practical unit with professional quality. Here are some of the features of the Dream Spa. And you can see more of this on the website. Uh, it's super comfortable. It can be used in bed, on the floor, in reclining chairs, couches outdoor in the lawn if you want to. Um, and the Dream Spa is powered by Sage 12 volt DC energy. Uh, some people are very confused about electromagnetic fields. They think they're all negative. They, they, they by far are not. Anything that has an atom in it has an electromagnetic field. And that's from rocks to human beings. Uh, it's just, uh, just that research has shown that AC electricity is not very good for uh, human immune systems and for humans to be around. So uh, we have a power adapter that uh, converts AC, alternating current electricity, to direct current DC electricity in 12 volts. This is the perfect electricity for the human body and for animals. Uh, the AC to DC adapter is, uh, you can sort of call it a water filter. We're filtering all the nasty electricity coming out of the wall into clean and pure uh, DC electricity, and the only signal in this DC electricity is a signal that we put in it that are all beneficial to the human body. Our adapters are rated for worldwide use. That means you can take them anywhere in the world and just change the plug and plug them right in the wall, and they'll work for you. We use, uh, of course, the, the new generation of super LEDs. Um, they, they don't overheat at all. There's no chance of them ever uh, burning up on you. And they have uh, a rated very long life period. The LEDs will last 10 to 15 years. Uh, so you won't be changing all those little bulbs on a regular basis. <laughs> we, as I've said before, we use the three most tested wavelengths in phototherapy history. Uh, just punch in these wavelengths and the, the internet is full of information on these uh, wavelengths. We have uh, five, uh, five proprietary programs and we also have included in the system uh, this new form of brainwave and transmit technology. There's also an extra port on the system because we do plan to come out with attachments, uh, dental and other things. We do plan to come out with attachments in the near future and we'll let you know as, as soon as those come online. The uh, Dream Spa is eco-friendly and is completely lead-free and meets European standards for lead-free uh, circuit boards and things like that and is completely recyclable. I'd like to talk about this uh, here right now for a second. This is, uh, I think, one of the advantages that the Dream Spa offers over any piece of equipment in, in the planet right now. That is, it's an all-in-one photon therapy system. Literally, we combine seven types of professional quality phototherapy into one system. And this is just a chart, so you can compare the charts on the website also. If you bought real phototherapy equipment from the low end to the high end, you could see you would be paying at least uh, almost $3,000 for, uh, for uh, all of these uh, all these benefits, up to almost $15,000. And I'm not talking about all the little toys and stuff that have caught on in phototherapy since it's become popular, all these little $30 units and things like that. We're talking about you know professional-grade phototherapy. And so um, I'd like to say uh, that we also now have um, 
um, a company that's making travel cases for us because it's been highly requested. I have, uh, it's perfectly made and fits perfectly the dream spot for traveling. It's totally uh, strong enough to stand on. It's made by a company that makes rock, uh, makes uh, cases for rock drummers. So you can literally stand on this thing. It's totally okay to check this in as luggage. I've done it on two trips across the uh, United States and back, checked it in as luggage. And uh, you ladies might be interested to know that it also has another use that my girlfriend discovered in my travels, and that is there's still plenty of room in here to pack clothes and shoes and things like that. So it's an extra, it's an extra luggage case also that works very well. So it's a dual purpose case. Um, we're going to have another webinar um, on the, uh, uh, this is the one I think, it's, we're, uh, let's go here, okay. We're going to, oh, oh, we're going to replay the webinar. I'll let David tell you about that in a minute. I also have, oh, you're going to replay it on the 25th for all of you that uh, want to see it again or tell your friends about it. Um, also, I'll let uh, David talk about our special we've had, but uh, let's go back. We're going to have another, oh, I'm here to, on October 20th, we're going to have another webinar uh, that I'll present, and this is one uh, that focuses mainly on anti-aging and super health uh, using phototherapy, and I'll give a history of who lives to be 100 and why, and I think you'll find it very, very fascinating, so tune in for that. That'll be Thursday, October 20th, and so uh, we're going to replay uh, this particular webinar on Sunday, uh, September 25th. Uh, at 1 Eastern, 12 Central, and 10 p.m., uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So uh, you can also check all this out on the um, uh, website. Now I'm going to let David tell you about a real good special we have for you today. And uh, uh, remember that uh, these are, we make these in smaller batches, and they're of a very high quality, and typically uh, they sell out as fast as we can make them, literally. And so uh, it's not like we're making tens of thousands of these. So keep that in mind. We do have some specials for you, and I think I'll, uh, I'll let David take over from here. Are you there, David? Yes, I am, Mel. Okay, here we go. Oh, everybody, thank you very much. It's been great talking to you. I'd love to talk about phototherapy and quantum biology. I could talk all day on it, as you could probably tell. So anyway, uh, uh, thank you all for tuning in, and I think we've got a great special for you. So firstly, Melvin, thank you for that wonderful webinar. I've listened to you speak many times, and every time I learn. It's just beyond amazing, your knowledge, your enthusiasm for this, and your passion with all the inventions that you've invented. Thank you so much for sharing that with both Light Health Research and our attendees today, both on the web and on the phone. Thank you so much. For the people who are attending this webinar, we have a very special announcement. We expected the Dream Spa to be two or three thousand dollars, as Melon indicated. That's pretty much the low end for anything that's comparable to this. Although there's nothing comparable because we have seven different phototherapy programs in here. So. We're able to offer this at a retail price of $15.99 today and for the next four days until Monday, September 25th. For the people on this webinar, we will be discounting it $150, so you can save that. If you go to the website and you use the discount code WEB2209, again, this is good through Monday, the 26th. You can save $150, bringing the price down to $14.49. Certainly a wonderful value. So we encourage you to reserve yours because they're on back order. They're selling them, we're selling them as fast as we can make them. And allow 10 weeks for delivery. The best way to order is online. You can also fax in an order. And for those who are not able to do either of those, you're welcome to call us at 847-607-8492. All of this includes our 30-day money-back guarantee and the one-year warranty. So we encourage you to reserve yours. And again, Mellon, thank you so much for this wonderful web webinar. We'll be replaying this on Sunday. It is on our website. And please register there so we know 
how many are attending, and we can prepare appropriately. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for attending. Thank you, Mellon. Bye-bye. Thank you.